Happy Wednesday everyone! Isang mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat. Yes, ang prayer natin patuloy tayong nakaka-experience ng mga pagpapala galing sa Panginoon. Salamat po kasi patuloy niyo pa rin kami sinasamaan dito. Kahit na GCQ na tayo, hindi na muna tayo po babalik sa ating usual or physical na gathering kasi medyo hindi pa naman talaga ganang ka-safe. Siguro, mangyayari naman yan at naniniwala tayo may miracle na gagawin ng Panginoon. Para saan pa na naging series natin itong It's a Miracle kung hindi naman paparanan sa atin ng Panginoon ang, ang miracle niya. So, welcome po sa panibagong topic natin sa series na ito. At uh, prayer ko ay patuloy nating maranasan yung pagkilos ng Panginoon kahit na nanonood lang tayo uh, sa ating mga tahanan or kung nasaan ka man ngayon, no, uh, prayer natin is patuloy tayong maka-experience ng movement ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. So today, um, very excited ulit ako, lagi naman. Pagdating sa Word of God, wala naman, hindi naman pwede hindi ka talaga ma-excite dyan. So very excited ako sa topic natin ngayong gabi dahil dito makikita natin gano ka galing ang Panginoon when it comes to um, letting His people experience miracle. Ano nga ba ang miracle no? nung mga nakaraan hindi natin na-define yan? You know, sabi sa dictionary, okay, sabi, a miracle daw is a surprising and welcome event that is not explicable by natural or scientific laws and is therefore considered to be the work of a divine agency. So, ibig sabihin, walang natural or scientific na combination nito. At hindi ma-explain ang lahat, pero nangyayari. At sabi dito, considered to be the work of a divine agency. Considered to be the work of God. Amen. So, today, um, I believe that Jesus would like to let us to go deeper when it comes on how we can experience miracle from Him importante na lumalalim tayo. I remember I posted it ngayong panahon na ito, mas importante lumalalim ka sa Panginoon. Lumalalim tayo sa Panginoon at hindi pa babaw ang ating uh, relationship sa Panginoon. So, ngayong gabi, um, pwede kaya na sa isang sitwasyon mo ay mapahinto mo ang Panginoon at pagkatapos nun ay ma-experience mo yung um, miracle ng Panginoon. Pwede nga kaya ang isang tao, ang sigaw ng isang uh, uh, humihingi ng, uh, or tumatawag sa Panginoon, ay pwede kayang mapahinto niya ang isang Diyos or ang isang Jesus na kung saan uh, sa paghinto niya ay meron silang may experience So today, I would like you to open your Bible with me in Matthew chapter 20, verses 29 to 34. And join me in our message entitled, Unstoppables. Now, today, may may experience tayo or may makikilala tayo mga unstoppables. And because they are unstoppables, they experience the miracle of Christ. You know, ano man yung sitwasyon mo ngayon, gusto kong malaman mo that's not your ending. Hanggat hindi ka papatay, hanggat hindi ka pa nawawalan ng hininga, gusto kong malaman mo na hindi iyan ang ending mo. Kaya, huwag kang hihinto. Dahil sa paghinto, maaaring hindi mo na maranasan ang presence ng Panginoon. Or sa paghinto, maaaring hindi mo na maranasan kung ano yung kayang ibigay sa atin ng Panginoon. So, today, we will... Uh, well, we will really learn how to be unstoppable. So again, Matthew chapter 20, 29 to 34, sabi niya, As Jesus and his disciples were leaving Jericho, a large crowd followed him. Two blind men were sitting by the roadside, and when they heard that Jesus was going by, they shouted, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. The crowd rebuked them and told them to be quiet, but they shouted all the louder. It says there, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus stopped and called them. What do you want me to do for you? He asked, Lord, they asked, Sir, we want our sight. So, nagtanong si Jesus, what do you want me to do for you? Sumagot sila, Lord, they answered, we want our sight. Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes immediately. Sabihin mo nga, immediately. Immediately, they received their sight and followed Him. So again, join me in our message tonight. 
uh, from the third topic ng series natin, It's a Miracle, entitled Unstoppables. What made this encounter with Jesus possible and unstoppable? So, tignan natin yung sitwasyon at pinagdaanan ng mga taong to na, na may pa, uh, uh, ex, may na-experience na pagkahirap sa buhay, pero na-experience nila yung pagkilos ng Panginoon. Are you excited? Pwede bang itype mo sa comment section, I'm excited or excited na ako. Amen? So, sige, tignan natin una, tignan natin yung verses 29-30. Sabi niya, as Jesus and His disciples were leaving Jericho, a large crowd followed Him. Lagi namang ganun kasi talagang nung kapanahonan ni Jesus, talaga namang naging sikat siya, no? Pagdating na verse 30, sabi niya, Two blind men were sitting by the roadside, and when they heard that Jesus was going by, they shouted, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. Okay, so unang bagay, na, unang, dapat nating maunawaan as we go deeper and uh, as we experience the miracle of God, pag-usapan natin yung crisis or the crisis. Right, dito may crisis silang na-experience. Ano yon? Sila ay bulag. Tatandaan natin to. Um, wag natin kakalimutan na ang crisis ay kakapusan lamang at hindi kawalan. Ito ay kakulangan lamang, okay, at hindi kawalan. Ulitin ko, pag may crisis ka, hindi naman ibig sabihin walang wala ka na. Pero, kapus lang. Alright, meron lang talagang hindi, uh, hindi kumumpleto eh. Sa, pan, sa pangyayaring ito, hindi sila kumpleto. Bakit? Wala silang paningin. So, meron silang krisis at yun ay wala silang paningin. So, wala nga silang paningin, pero meron naman silang pandinig at tinig na pwede nilang gamitin. Alam mo, kapag na-experience or gusto mong ma-experience yung miracle ng Panginoon, gusto ko na maunawaan natin, may mga krisis talagang darating sa buhay. This is the point. Aanhin natin si Lord. Aanhin natin ang miracle ng Panginoon kung ang buhay natin ay smooth lang. Kaya maraming tao, ayaw nila ng problema. Well, sino naman talaga ang may gusto niyan, di ba? Ayaw nila ng may mga maranasan sa buhay. Pero hindi ko naman sinasabi na para para lang ma-experience mo yon ay eh, asamin mo na or gumawa ka ng paraan para may pagdaanan ka sa buhay. Pero ito po yung re realidad ng buhay. Meron talagang pagkakataon that we will experience crisis. But my point is, every time that we are experiencing this crisis, huwag kang magpapahinto sa crisis na yan. Every time that we're experiencing this crisis, do not ask the Lord na alisin ka sa sitwasyon or sa crisis na yan. But rather, ask Jesus what He can do in that particular situation. Ask Jesus to, to, for you to see His power. Kapag dumadaan tayo sa krisis ng buhay natin, huwag mo iasa sa Panginoon, Lord, pwede bang alisin mo na lang ako sa krisis na to? No. Pwede bang iasa mo sa Panginoon, Lord, pwede ko bang maranasan ang kapangyarihan mo sa kalagitnaan ng krisis na to? So, wala sila, ulitin ko, wala silang paningin, pero meron silang pandinig, meron din silang tinig. Alam nyo, hindi naman talaga natin magagamit yung mga bagay na wala tayo eh. Pero magagamit mo yung meron ka. At kapag meron ka pa nun, ibig sabihin, meron ka pang pwedeng gawin. So again, dito sa passage natin, wala silang paningin, pero ginamit nila yung pandinig nila at tinig nila para maka-experience ng miracle sa Panginoon. Ano yung wala ka? Sige, isipin mo muna ngayon, ano yung wala ka? O ngayon, huwag ka na mag-dwell dyan. Isipin mo na, ano yung meron ka? At gamitin mo yung meron ka ngayon para tumawag sa Panginoon at ma-experience mo yung mera ka ng Panginoon. Example, wala kang pera, pero matalino ka. May connection ka. May, mm, may face value ka. Malakas ang loob mo. Maaari hindi sapat yung pera na meron ka ngayon, pero binigyan tayo ng Panginoon ng ability to produce, produce what? Deuteronomy 8.18. So, gamitin natin yun para mapunan yung mga wala sa atin at ma experience mo kung paano kikilos ang Panginoon sa buhay mo. Again, ang krisis, kakulangan lamang at hindi ito kawala. So, gamitin mo yung meron ka at magkakaroon ka nung wala ka. What happened to them? Nung nakita nila, okay, bulag tayo. Pero merong isang Jesus. At itong Jesus na to, balibalita. Okay, nagbibigay to ng miracle. Ano yung wala tayo? Paningin. Pero meron tayong pandinig. Meron tayong tinig. Gamitin natin to. Siguro nag-usap yung dalawang bulag na. Gamitin natin to. At alam mo kung ano na-experience nila? Na-experience nila, yung wala sila, nagkaroon. 
nagkaroon sila. So, crisis is the time not to minimize your life, but to maximize your life. Pag dumataan ka sa crisis, mas lalo mong i-maximize yung buhay mo, yung kakayahan mo. So, ano yung crisis mo na meron ka ngayon? Financial? Is it emotional or relational? Is it spiritual? Remember, crisis could make you like a beggar. Like this too. Unresolved crisis could, what? Humiliate you. Crisis can create limitations in your life. It can make you dysfunctional. Yes, crisis has a lot of things to do in our lives. But let me remind you that crisis is in inevitable. Hindi maiiwasan, mangyayari at mangyayari. Ayaw man natin, mangyayari at mangyayari magkakaroon ng crisis. So lahat ng tao dadaan sa crisis ng buhay. Iba't iba nga lang. But don't forget this. Sa panahon that you are in crisis, it's okay not to be okay, but don't stay that way. Daan ka lang. Daan na mo na yung crisis, pero wag mo tatambayan. Okay? Okay, so sige, nabaon sa utang, daan lang. Wag tambayan. Naligaw ng landas, daan lang, wag tambayan. Na depress ka, na disappoint ka, daanan mo lang, wag mo tatambayan. Nawalan ka ng pag-asa, daanan mo lang. Okay? You can still do something. Again, ang crisis, kakulangan lang at hindi ito kawalan. Do something. Okay, binrate ka niya? Okay, crisis yan sa'yo? O daanan mo lang yung pag-move on o yung breakup stage o yung painful experience niyan. Pero you can still do something. Hello? Binrate ka lang, hindi ka pa pinatay. Ibig sabihin, may, kakaya, may kakayahan ka pang magmahal ulit. Yes naman, okay? Tapikin mo yung sarili mo. Sabihin mo sa kanya, may pag-asa ka pa. Alright? So, what? use what you have. Don't focus on what you don't have. Don't focus dun sa mga umalis. Mag-focus ka dun sa meron ka. Dun sa mga natira. Dun sa mga naiwan. No, pag Pag kuminos ka na at gumawa ka ng paraan, don't forget na may kakaharapin ka ding crowd. Let me read verse 31. The crowd rebuked them and told them to be quiet, but they shouted all the louder, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. This is our second point. If you want to experience uh, the miracle of God, you have to go deeper and understand there will be crisis. But second, also there will be a crowd. Sabi dyan, the crowd rebuked them and told them to be quiet. Nung nakita na nilang, pwede pala natin punan yung wala tayo para ma-experience natin si Christ, eto naman, ito naman tong crowd na to, na pinatatahimik sila. So, ang crowd dito, ito yung pumipigil sa kanila, papalapit para marinig sila ni Jesus. So, there are two effects of crowd in, in this passage. Una, pahintuin ka. Sabi dito, the crowd rebuked them and told them to be quiet. Some people will, will try to stop you from coming to Jesus. Sinasadya man nila o hindi nila sinasadya. Yung iba talagang sinasadya. Nako, Jesus, Jesus, corny yan. Hindi kami sanay sa'yo na nag-Jesus, Jesus ka. Alam mo yun? Hindi kami sanay na nagbabago ka. Hindi totoo yan. Hindi, hindi yan na nakagisnan natin. Sige ka, pag nag-Jesus, Jesus ka, wala, end of friendship, iwan ka namin. Alright? O, mamili ka, ako o si Jesus. Ganon. Alright? Pahihintuin ka talaga ng mga taong to whether ito man ay intentional nilang ginagawa o hindi. At meron talaga. Alam mo yung gusto mo nang magbago. Gusto mo maka-experience ng pag-ahon sa'yo ng Panginoon. Pero may tao talaga na pahihintuin ka. Pangalawa, sila naman, yung crowd, pwede naman ding, una, pahintuin ka. Pero pwede din namang patapangin ka. Ano naging response nila? But they shouted all the louder, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. You know, this is a uh, uh, something that I would like everyone to understand. Crowd, yung crowd sa buhay natin, yung mga nagpapahinto, yung mga gustong o ayaw kang lumapit kay Christ, yung mga taong ayaw kang magbago, ayaw kang maka-experience ng pag-ahon sa buhay, gusto ko malaman mo, hindi mo sila kontrolado. Pwede nilang gawin yon o hindi nila gagawin, that is out of your control. But, this is the point. You can respond not according to what they want you to do. Pwede kang mag-response at yun yung bagay na kontrolado mo. At sa panahon nila at sa passage natin, imbis na, sinabihan na sila, Oy, tumahimik kayo dyan, mga bulag, tumahimik kayo dyan. Imbis na tumahimik sila, they shouted all the louder, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. 
you know, sa mga testings at obstacles ng buhay natin, pwede ka lalong patapangin ito. Pwede ka lalong ma-challenge. Pero pwede ka ting patahimiki na lang nito o patahin na lang nito. So who or what is your crowd today? Sino sila? O ano yun? Will you be discouraged or will you be challenged? So the crowd will always be there. Yun nga yung sinasabi ko kanina pa. But the way you respond matters most. Kung paano ka magre-response dito sa crowd na to, yun ang big deal kay Jesus. Friends, friends, beat that crowd. I want you to understand this. Beat that crowd. Say to yourself, beat that crowd. Okay? So after the crisis, make crowd, but don't miss the third one. The Christ. Verses 32 to 34. Jesus stopped and called them. What do you want me to do for you? Lord, they asked, we want our sight. Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Immediately, they received their sight and followed him. So this is the third point. Okay, sige given merong crisis. Sige given merong crowd. But do not ever forget sa panahon na gusto mo ng miracle, oo, sige na, patatahimikin ka, or ma, pa, pa, uh, papahintuin ka pwede ng crisis na yan, patatahimikin ka ng crowd na yan, pero tingin ka dun sa goal mo, and that is the Christ. Christ means here, the anointed one. Anointed to save, anointed to heal, anointed to set the captives free. He is Jesus the one that you've been what worshiping your whole life siya yung jesus na araw-araw nating tinatawagan siya yung jesus na kaya magbigay ng miracle sa iyo isang importanteng bagay na napansin ko dito si kristo pala ay napapahinto ng mga taong ayaw humintong lumapit sa kanya anong sabi dito jesus stop Imagine mo, dumadaan lang naman si Jesus eh. Malamang may ibang pupuntahan si Jesus, pero napahinto siya ng blind men na ito. Uulitin ko, si Kristo ay napapahinto ng mga taong ayaw humintong lumapit sa kanya. Oo, aaminin na natin, minsan mahirap lumapit sa Diyos dahil madaming mga humahad lang ibang tao, minsan mahal mo pa nga sa buhay, minsan pera, kahirapan, kayamanan, kay demonyo, madalas, sarili lang natin, pero makinig ang lahat, makinig ka maigi. Porket ba may humahad lang, magpapahad lang ka ba? Or magpapahad lang ka? Papayag ka ba na hadlangan ka? Para makamit mo yung pangarap mo. Para makamit mo yung miracle na pinapangarap mo. Papayag ka bang hadlangan? Papuntang langit? Gagawin ang lahat ni Satanas? Mapunta ka lang ng impyerno. But the question is, papayag ka ba? Another important thing, palagay mo, alam ba ni Jesus na bulag siya? Or bulag sila? Siyempre naman. All knowing kaya si Christ. Eh yun na nga, Pastore, bakit ganun? Tinanong pa, si, tinanong pa ni Jesus sila, What do you want me to do for you? Alam mo, ito pa yung point. Una, halatang halata ang mga bulag, lalo na sa panahon nila. Lahat naman siguro ngayon, di ba? Pangalawa, halata ang bulag, lalo na sa panahon nila, kasi ayon sa kanilang kultura, kapag ikaw ay um, may kapansanan, or for example, bulag nga, sila may mga tela o balabal na pang kapansanan para malaman ng mga tao na meron silang, uh, na disabled sila, na meron silang kapansanan. So this is the point. Alam na ni Jesus na bulag itong dalawa. Alam na ni Jesus na bulag itong dalawa. Actually, in the book of Mark, pinangalanan niyo isa dito si Bartimaeus. Pero nagtanong pa rin si Jesus, What do you want me to do for you? Nagtanong pa rin si Christ. They, they may say, Lord, are you blind? Lord, hindi, hindi mo ba nakikita? Wala kayong paningin, no? Are you blind? <laughs> di ba kami yung blind? Pwede nang gawa nun eh. Pwede nga uh, pilosopohin si Jesus. But this is the point. Gusto kasi ni Lord, specific ka. Pag gusto mo ng something kay Christ, 
Pag gusto mo ng miracle, dapat specific ka. Sabihin mo sa kanya kung ano talaga yung kailangan mo. Ano ba yung blessing na kailangan mo? Pera, ano, piso ba yan? Isang daan? Magkano? Anong sasakyan ang kailangan mo? Bicycle ba yan? Okay, kariton, kali kalesa, kotse, karo. Ano yung kailangan mo? Maniwala ka, pag tinanong ka ni Lord, anong specific, dapat, na isasagot mo, meron ka na dapat yan. So, you have to think of it. Kasi, alam mo, grabe pag nagtanong ang Panginoon, ito yung tanong niya dun sa blind men. What do you want me to do for you? You know, they could even answer, uh, Christ, pwede bang pera na lang? But alam mo, malinaw sa dalawang to. This is their last chance. Jesus is their only hope. Because no one could even heal them. No one could even give them sight. Wala nang kaya magbigay sa kanila ng paningin. Kasi nga bulag na eh. Malamang, dahil beggar itong mga to, namamalimo sila nung dumaan si Jesus, malamang they don't have what? They don't have the money to go to the doctor and have some, you know, uh, transplant ng mata. But malinaw sa kanila. Nung nagtanong si Jesus, What do you want me to do for you? Ang sagot nila, Jesus, we want our sight. Ngayon kung tatanungin ka ni Jesus, kung sasabihin sa'yo ng Panginoon, Anak, anong gusto mong gawin ko para sa'yo? Ah, oh, grabe. Can you just feel that? Anong gusto mong gawin ko para sa'yo? Yun yung tanong ni Christ sa'yo ngayon. What will be your answer? Ano yung isasagot mo sa Panginoon? Tatandaan mo, iba pag si Jesus na ang nagtanong. Kapag yung kasama mo sa bahay o yung katabi mo nagtanong, anong gusto mo? Sky's the limit. May limit pa din yung sky. Pero pag si Jesus ang nagtanong, maniwala ka, even the impossible can be possible. You have to know your answer. Because I believe right now, God is speaking into your heart. God is telling you or asking you, Anak, what do you want me to do for you? As I conclude, verse 34, When they answered Jesus, Jesus, we want our sight. Ano nangyari? Verse 34, Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Immediately, they received their sight and followed Him. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Why I defined miracle? Kasi pwede naman pala na magpa-transplant na sila, pwede silang binigyan ni Jesus ng pera, tapos o oh, ito na, magpa-opera kayo. But no, hindi yun ang ginawa ni Christ. Ano ang ginawa ni Christ? He had compassion on them and touched their eyes and immediately they received their sight and followed Him. His compassion is seen in what He did for them. Nakikita yung compassion. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng compassion? It is love with action. Nakita ng Panginoon. Naramdaman niya yung love dito sa dalawang ito. At hindi lang yon. Hindi naman basta siya naawa. Ay, kawawa naman bulag sila. No. What? He did something. Maniwala ka, pagdating kay Kristo, hindi pwedeng wala siyang gagawin pag lumapit ka. Hindi pwedeng walang gagawin si Jesus pag lumalapit ka. Hindi pwedeng walang gagawin si Jesus pag umiiyak ka na sa Kanya. And I want you to understand right now, kung, kung paano kumikilos ang Panginoon sa buhay natin. He will, yes, He will let us experience those things. May may experience kang crisis, may, may may experience kang crowd. But never ever forget Christ in your life. Never ever forget the miracle worker. The way maker and his name is Jesus. Sabi dito, Jesus passed by. Nung dumaan si Jesus, hindi na sila nagdalawang isip. Hindi na sila nagsayang ng oras. Hindi na sila nagpabukas pa. In fact, hindi nga sila nagpahinto. Nung dumaan si Jesus, sumigaw na sila. Because they know this is the last chance that we could have our sight back. This could be the last chance. This could be our last hope. I don't know, but I know. I'm, I, I don't know right now, but I'm talking to someone right now. You know Jesus is the last chance that you have. He is the last chance na meron ka. And I wanna tell you right now, at this moment, sa panahon na to na pinapanood mo to, gusto malaman mo, God can still work in your life. 
Jesus is just waiting for your answer. What do you want me to do for you? And mag- magugulat ka na lang. When they, when they shouted, when, when, they, when the crowd stopped them, sabi ng, ng, ng Bible, they shouted all the louder para lang mapansin ni Jesus. Sino dito gusto mo magpapansin kay Christ ngayon? Kasi pag napansin ka ni Christ, when He stopped to this blind man, when He stopped to them, He asked them a very important question that led them to experience the miracle of Christ. Ngayong gabi ito, o ngayong araw na ito, kung anong oras mo ito pinapanood, I wanna tell you, Christ is here. He is passing by. Yes, pwede tayo magpapansin kay Christ. Pero kapag nagtanong ba siya, may isa, sagot ka na. Sabi doon, He touched them. Jesus is still in the business of touching lives today. He is still in the business of making miracles today. If I were you, I would grab this chance. If I were you, I would take this moment. Siguro sasabihin sa atin ng mga bulag na yun, dadaan si Jesus sa buhay mo, kung ako sa'yo, gawin mo lahat para ma-experience mo siya. Gawin mo na ang lahat para mapansin ka niya. You know, I believe in my heart na wala namang ibang way para mapansin tayo ng Panginoon kundi sa ating pananampalataya. Look at this crowd. Look at this crisis. Pwede na lang nagspa-stop na lang sila dyan but hindi sila pumayag. Their faith to Jesus. Yun yun na natin. Right now, I wanna um, give this moment to you. Alam mo sa sitwasyon mo ngayon, si Jesus ang pinakalas resort or talagang hope mo or chance mo para makaalis ka sa sitwasyon na yan. I will encourage you right now. Take this moment. I will challenge you right now. Kunin mo yung pagkakataon mo na mapansin ni Jesus. By what? By calling to Him. By accepting Him as your Lord and Savior. And you will just see how God, how Jesus will move in your life. If this is your heart's desire today, I would encourage you to just close your eyes and let's pray. Habang na tayo ay nakapikit, after these words, ulitin mo yung panalangin nito na sasabihin ko. Just repeat these words in my prayer today and naniniwala ako na ang Panginoong Jesus ay kasama natin ngayon. Just tell to Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I know that I am a sinner. But I believe that you are my only Savior. Today, I ask you to come into my life. Be the Lord, be the Savior of this life. Cleanse me from my sins. Forgive me. Love me. Thank you, Jesus. From now on, I will follow you. From now on, I will serve you. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Ako na lang po yung mananalangin. Panginoon, sa oras na to, nagpapapansin kami sa iyo. Sumisigaw ang aming puso, Panginoon. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. I know God meron dito, Panginoon. Ito, Panginoon, yung desire niya. Alam niya, Lord, ito na yung pinakalas hope. Ito na yung pinaka last chance Panginoon. And we're holding on to this last chance. So God, we're holding on to the only hope that the, the only hope that we have and that is you Jesus. Lord, hindi ko po alam kung sino o ano ang miracle na kailangan niya ngayon. Pero Panginoon, sa oras na ito magpapapansin kami sa iyo Panginoon. May you see our faith God as we call unto you Jesus right now. And may you stop to this person's life right now. And may you touch her. May you touch him right now. And grant, Lord, the desire of her heart. Grant, Lord, the desire of his heart. Lord, meron dito. Maaaring hin- maaaring kagaya ng blind men, oh God. Meron siyang physical, Lord God, na difficulty. 
na hindi niya alam paano, maybe hindi enough yung money niya to have an operation, I don't know God. Or maybe this person, God, ay may problema, Panginoon, sa kanyang heart. I don't know who you are right now, but I want you to just touch your heart right now. Yang, yang, yang may problema sa puso mo ngayon. God, I, I pray right now for this person. God, I speak God for miracle. I speak God right now that you move sa kanyang puso. Touch her heart. Touch his heart right now. At ang dalangin ko, Panginoon, anuman yung diferensya. Ito man ay may hole, Panginoon. Lord, buuin mo ang puso ito. Lord, kung ito man ay enlargement, I pray God na gawin mo pong normal ang puso niya, Panginoon. Yung physical heart niya right now. God, meron dito, Panginoon, na meron siyang problem financially. At totoo, God, miracle na lang talaga ang hinihintay niya. But God, I pray right now that you move sa buhay niya. You move God right now. You move Jesus right now. Pass by God sa kanyang buhay, Panginoon sa oras na to. Huminto ka po sa sitwasyon niya at ang dalangin ko, hipuin mo po ang finances niya sa oras po na ito, Panginoon. Or someone in this place, oh God, hindi po okay ang kanyang emotion, hindi po okay ang kanyang relationship, hindi niya alam kung paano gagawin. Lord, I pray for wisdom. I pray God for healing of the heart. I pray God for forgiveness, Lord, na makapag-release siya nito at maka-act accept din siya or makareceive din siya ng forgiveness from others. Lord, I pray right now for these people who's watching, who's listening to you. Let these people experience what this blind man experienced, oh God. Hayaan mo po ma-experience nila yung mga miracles. Hayaan mo po ma-experience nila yung presence mo. Hayaan mo po mapatigil ka nila sa kanilang buhay because we know when you stop, you're gonna do something. Hayaan mo, Panginoon, sa oras na to mag-flow po, Panginoon, ang kapangyarihan mo sa bawat tahanan, sa bawat individual na nanonood po, Panginoon, ngayon. Hindi ko alam, but I know, Lord, Ikaw ang magmimit, Panginoon, ng lahat ng kanilang pangangailangan. Ano man yung krisis na meron sila, Panginoon. Lord, right now, ito'y kakulangan lamang, pero naniniwala kami, Panginoon, hindi namin to kawalan. Ikaw ang magpupuno sa aming mga kakulangan. Marami pong salamat. Lord, right now, we just want, Lord God, this moment to worship you and praise you. I just want you, I'm going to give you a, a few seconds to just thank the Lord. I want you to receive whatever that uh, miracle or blessing na ibinibigay sa'yo ng Panginoon. Pag malinaw sa'yo, binigay na ng Panginoon. I just want you to receive it. And I just want you to thank Jesus today. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our only hope. Thank you, our almighty God. Thank you, Jesus, for, for this, for this blessing, for this miracle. Lord, we give you all the glory today, all the praises that you deserve. We honor you, we love you, Holy Spirit. This is our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.